Look at the bodies on these two heifers. The width and the depth of rib. They're only 20 months old. Beautiful quality, deep ribbed grass production cattle. It's a beautiful airshock cow. These cows have had no grain in one of the toughest seasons I've ever seen. Carved deal in the autumn, very tough country to farm on here. See the barrel and rib on that cow, and the beautiful udder. Super dairy cow. This is Governor Boy's mother. Rising 13 year old, back in calf again, come through one of the toughest seasons you've ever seen in this country. Never fed grain in her life, always calved early. The boy's full sister, she's also the dam of Tinga Double Gov. Out of the old cow we just saw. Beautiful young cow. There's another beautiful cow walking past a hit. Barrels on these cows, the bodies on them, even though they're not carrying a lot of condition, they've still got that tremendous width depth of body, spring of rib. It's only a three year old cow calving in the autumn. It's what you've got to have to merchandise grass. Beautiful depth of body again and width in that cow. Travel across the road, they've been locked up until I got here this morning. Never fed grain these cows, farmed on very tough country. The bodies on these airshy cows. Cow there's 12 year old, look at it, looks like she's about five. Beautiful four year old young cow. farmed in very, very, very tough dairying country. Some of the toughest dairying country in Australia with no bale feed. Now this cow is 13 year old with no teeth. Just have a look how well she looks. In a calve early in the autumn or March, depending on which country you're viewing this from. It's a spring. And this cow also is the same age and has no teeth and look how well she looks. Not about big production, it's about economic functionality. Carved every year since two year old, never been fed in the Barlow's cows. 